Hey, welcome to our 10 week Tai Chi course. We're going to be doing the fundamentals of Tai Chi over 10 separate weeks. And during the course of the 10 weeks, we're going to be learning just one form each of the 10 weeks to effectively be able to do what's called the Tai Chi 10 or the Tai Chi 8. Um, and these are all the classic forms that you'll see in most of the famous Tai Chi sequences of 24 or 48 or 108 forms. So it's the same kind of movements again and again. So for those of you who've done Qigong before, Qigong, of course, is our energy work, the sort of physical um, practice of traditional Chinese medicine, where we use certain forms to bring our body back into balance, into health, into harmony with nature, homeostasis with the environment around us. And Tai Chi is just a form of Qigong. So it's not like you're doing something completely separate, um, but Tai Chi is like the martial art arm of Qigong. So uh, you're not kind of learning to do anything really, maybe defend yourself, but really what you're learning to do when you learn Tai Chi is this idea of action that is with simplicity, action without our thoughts, our emotions, all that mind clutter getting in the way, confusing us, make us act less efficiently, less effectively. So all, everything is Qigong, but Tai Chi is a way to teach ourselves that when we act, when we move, we move with simplicity. So with that, let's bring our attention inwards. That we, as we always do at the start of every practice, you might just like to take a few moments, maybe a sigh. And I just invite you to listen to the body right now just acknowledging that every day is different every day is unique what can i notice about my body on this day one thing that i love is this anatomical um, idea that we have 37 trillion cells in our body every day our body loses or about 50 billion cells die and change and but you might just like to think of your body as an evolving, ever-changing group of cells, not a static kind of aging lump of flesh. <laughs> Let's try and think of it as something always moving, always changing, very fluid. You might like to just lift all 10 toes off the ground. Maybe notice the change when you do this. You might feel a little less steady. And whenever you're ready, just start to take the toes back down. Maybe just the right big toe and the left big toe. Then the second toe. Can you separate the second and third toe? All the way down to the little toe. And then maybe find the ball of the feet, the heel. Now I just invite you to explore. You might like to roll forward, roll to the side, roll to the heels. This feeling of grounding. So much of our energy is in our mind. All day, every day, our mind is busy. Even at night when we sleep, our mind is busy. And today we try and work on what we can control and teach our mind not to worry about what we can't control. Something that we can control, we often think we can't, but what we can control is our body, but we have to do a lot of practice to control how our body might travel with us through this life. If you've been rolling in one direction, you might like to change. And just let your body be fairly free. Notice if you have any points that are stiff or sore, 
where your energy might be blocked. We do Tai Chi to restore our body towards balance. When you're ready, come back through the center. Let's take our energy up to the top of our body now, lifting our chin up. And then bringing the chin right into the chest. Maybe a few more nods. Notice if your shoulders are hunching up, let them be heavy, let your chest be open. You might drop down through the weight. And we'll meet back in the center. This time, take your ear to the shoulder, but again, keep your shoulder really heavy. Try not to shrug. And just go side to side. Ear down towards shoulder. You don't have to meet the ear. And we'll meet back in the center. This time we will shrug, draw your shoulders right up, take a deep breath. And then let's let it all sink. Let's do that two more times. Big shrug of I don't know. I am becoming empty, creating space. And then we'll roll the shoulders. If you can really curl the shoulder blades in and then curl the shoulders in. You might change direction. You might like to roll one shoulder and then the other. Changing directions again. Let's take our arms out wide now and just some small circles. Notice where your weight is as you do this. Can you feel a sense of head stacking over shoulders, over hips, over knees and ankles? Keep breathing. Just when your mind might start to, start to tell you your arms are heavy, we'll do maybe two more breaths. And then shake it out. Let's roll our wrists. Maybe bring the elbows into it any way you like. Let's take one hand up and one hand down and just pulse behind the body. Switching sides. And we'll shake out again. Take one arm down the side of the leg. Just let it roll down, maybe towards the knee. Big sigh. Take a breath, come up tall. And then the other side. This time you might like to take the arm across and over the body. Just deepening the side stretch a little. You're pressing down through both feet. One more time each side.
Come up tall. Let's curl our whole body in. Bring the elbows and loose fists in. Take a breath. When you sigh out, open the chest. Draw the shoulders in. Keep going. Find your own rhythm with your breath. One more time. And the arms can come down. Let's add a little bit of a twist. We'll bring both arms in front of the body. Take a breath in. As we sigh out, roll the shoulder back, roll the hip back. Take a breath, come back through center. Exhale, turn the other way. And just keep going side to side. You might find as you sigh out, you twist a little deeper, maybe. Just let it come without any pushing, any forcing. And as we come back to the center, let's bring the arms down to the waist. We'll roll the hips. Come back the other direction. Let's step our feet together and knees together. You might just like to cut the knees and tiny circles of the knees. Slowly coming up, we'll take our hand in the opposite elbow, step out with the heel, drop the weight down, keep the back straight, here you find that strong sensation in the back of the leg. Take a breath. And when you're ready, slowly push back up. And we'll switch to the other side. Heel first, tailbone down. Take a breath. And then slowly coming back up. Let's lift one of our heels and just roll the ankle. And then straight to the other side. Okay, during the course of our Tai Chi 10 weeks, we're going to be exploring the 10 principles of Yang Cheng Fu. And first principle is a simple one, and it's just to lift the bark waypoint. So if you want to just come up, bring your fingers to the top of your head. Our bark waypoint is not quite on the very crown of the head. It's at that bit where the hair kind of swirls, just behind the top of the head. And you want to feel like that point is kind of being lifted up or tugged up by a string. And take a bit of time with this. See if you can feel into the bark waypoint. So the first principle of Tai Chi is to elevate the crown of the head to lift the Shen. The Shen is the spirit of vitality. So we're not using any force. We're not using any strength. We're just sort of 
allowing the crown of our head to be lifted up. And at the same time, our feet are pressing into the ground. And you might feel like pressing in both directions. There's a bit of an odd sensation. Just notice it. This is a very common thing with all of Tai Chi. We're teaching ourselves to work with our yin and yang, with high and low, tall and short, before and after. All of the energies of the world must be there. So feel that grounding through the balls of the feet, but also feel that crown of the head lifting up. Shoulders are heavy. If you try and kind of lift your whole body up, then you'll become less balanced, less stable. So it's just this feeling of elevation, allowing the energy of our body to rise, our spirit to rise. And this is where we start our Tai Chi practice. So we're going to do a couple of things just to get the feeling of the first form of our Tai Chi sequence, which is just the commencement form. It's probably the simplest thing you can learn in Tai Chi, but as always, takes a lifetime to master. And the more that you do this, the more the understanding of the form comes. I remember when I first did this, might have been my first ever Qigong class. I thought, oh yeah, that one's easy. I know how to lift my arms. <laughs> so today we'll see if we can break it down and we'll see if we can learn where our attention is meant to be, what our body is meant to be doing as we do this commencement form at the start of practice. So before we do the form, let's just do a couple of other simple exercises to just prepare ourselves. So we might start by um, just lifting our arms up and just notice as you lift your arms back, your weight will probably go into the heels. And then we're going to roll forward and take our weight into the balls of the feet as our hands come by the side of the body. And just see if you can keep doing this in your own breath time. So breathing in, sighing out. So we're just going to lift our arms and roll back into the heels. And then slowly roll forward, press into the balls of the feet. Scan through your body. Make sure you're not holding tension in your teeth your jaw, anything in your face. Let your body rock back as you lift up and let your body roll forward into the balls of the feet, into the toes as you take the hands down. Can you feel that halfway point lifting? Back of the body is long. All right, let's bring our arms down by the side of the body. So now we're going to shift our weight into one of our legs. And just take all your weight onto this side. You can just mirror me if you like. And if you want to test whether all your weight's in that leg, just lift this leg up, maybe point it out or take it behind. And you'll notice very soon if you're not kind of putting all your weight on one leg. And just bring the other foot down. Now we're going to shift that weight onto the other side, onto this side. And again, you might like to just test. Notice. Very welcome to take a hold of a wall or something else if you need to. Let's just go from side to side. Let's shift our weight onto one leg and then onto the other. And just notice if your gaze has suddenly gone to the floor. You want to keep your gaze eye level. So even though our knee kind of bends a little more as we go to one side, we keep our head more or less level. Our internal body is sinking down. Crown of the head is still rising up. All right, now let's see if we can turn this into an actual sidestep. All right, so bring the feet together at the start. Our commencement form, we started with arms down by the side, palms turned in. 
This is our gallbladder meridian. So our hands are connecting with our gallbladder meridian by the side of the body. And just sink down into this stance. We're going to very slowly take our weight into one side. And then this leg has no weight on it. Just take the toes out, sink down, and then shift the weight. Now we'll roll back, lift this knee, draw the toes back, and we arrive back at the center. Let's try the other side. So shift the weight onto this leg. Notice that you had the whole foot on the ground before you shift the weight. As you bring this leg back, you come to the center. Keep going side to side. What's happening with the breath? Is the crown of the head still lifted? Are the eyes still finding their spot? Maybe eye level, just find a spot to take your gaze to. And you find stillness in the movement. Mind is present, mind is here. We learn Tai Chi to study our body. So now our body, we think it's out of control, it's doing its own thing, but always the sum of our traumas, our stresses, our habits. And we learn to make every action something simple and effortless. And we'll just come back. And you might like to take your feet a little wider. Take it out. All right, we'll do another warm up exercise. This one is a simple one just to get this feeling of moving our weight from side to side. Let's bring our hands to heart center. And we're going to start just by taking our hands to one shoulder, chin to the other. And just keep your weight balanced. Bring your hands back through the center. Take a new breath and then turn the other side. Let's do one more each side. Sighing out as we turn. All right, now we're going to shift our weight to one side as we turn, come back through the center, and then shift the weight to the other side. Keep going side to side and you drop your hip. Feel all the weight move into one side. One more time. And we'll bring our hands down. We'll take our feet even a little wider, a little closer to a horse stance. And just bring one hand on, on the hips. This time we're going to take a hand out. Now see if you can keep your eyes on the fingers as you take them across the body, palm face out. Eyes stay on the fingers. And then drop the hand, turn it in. Eyes stay on the fingers all the way. Now let's bring our attention to our shoulders. Can you roll your shoulder across? Rolling the fingers again. Our 
bow stays heavy. And now let's take our attention down to our hip. Can our hip joint follow the fingers? Roll it over, roll it as far as you can. Both directions. As your hand comes back, let the hip roll back. And now we're going to take it into the lower body. And the inside of your thigh, follow your fingers. Draw in, bring your attention right there. Almost like your legs are drawing in towards each other. Maybe a little bit, the inside of your knee, the inside of the ball of the foot. The whole body is working together, moving together. Next time we come back through the center, let's switch sides. And we're going to just follow the fingers again, just eyes and fingers. And just like we did before, start working through the body. Elbow heavy, moving with the body, shoulder moving. Maybe listening to the breath. Can you feel your hip rotate? Just take your attention to the hand that's on the hip. Can you feel it moving as much as your arm is moving? When your arm stops moving, your hip stops moving and vice versa. One more time. And when you're ready, just step back in. And we'll just bring our palms back onto the belly. Just take a moment in stillness. See if you can feel that bar way drawing up, that spirit lifting. So we'll come to our actual Tai Chi form now. We start our practice always legs together, feet together, arms down by the side. Drop down, you might have a little micro bend in your knees, waist is heavy, shoulders heavy. Feel that crown of the head rising up. Take a breath or two here, there's no rush ever to start. Most important thing is that we are here in this moment. So any restless thoughts, just let them go. How do we stop thinking? How do we release our thoughts? Usually the best way is through watching, listening, feeling. Just engage the senses to bring you into this moment. What can we notice about this moment? might be the room around you, it might be sounds in your local environment, it might just be the feeling of air on your skin or the floor beneath you. What can we notice? 
All right, so when we're ready, we're going to shift that weight onto our standing leg. You can just mirror me if you like. And then press down through that foot. Make sure you feel steady. So right now you might feel a little unsteady. So just drop your weight down, drop your hip, drop your knee. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly float toes across and then drop the heel down and then slowly shift the weight. When we get to this point, we're going to take a breath, feel our arms rising up, no effort, almost like they're being tugged up just to the shoulder height. And then we sigh out and let the elbows, let the wrists guide the movement down. All right, let's step back. Sigh it out. Make sure your gaze is high, not down towards the ground. Feel that sense of connection with the body. Arms are close, but not touching. Drop your weight down into the standing leg. Big sigh. When you're ready, breath in. And then slowly taking the toes across, drop the heel down, shift the weight. When the breath comes, and then sighing out. All right, let's try one more time. Step back. You might notice something new in your environment this time, whatever it might be, sound of a bird, just the feeling in the body. Let's shift our weight. Slowly draw the toes out, sink the heel, float the body. When the breath comes, Um, let's shake out everything. So first form of Tai Chi, commencement form, lifetime to master, even though it's the simplest thing ever. Let's just take a moment to scan through the body, notice how we feel. And we're going to finish every practice the same way. A Tai Chi way of finishing is to acknowledge yang and yin meeting so our yang is our right side so you might take a loose fist with your right hand and our left side is our yin side this is our meeting our receiving or you might think of it as activity and stillness um however you like to think of yin and yang we're going to draw them together the fist meets the palm just wrap the palm loosely around at the level of your heart and then elbows are wide, but no tension in them. And then of course we bow to each other, just lowering the upper body down. And we'll finish each practice in this way each week. Hope you'll join me next week. Next week we'll be learning Repulse the Monkey.